Welcome back to my channel. This time I will share a tutorial on how to use AutoCAD files in Chinzy. First of all, let's create a project in Chinzy. I have made a tutorial on how to create a project in Chinzy. If you are not familiar with creating projects in Chinzy, you can see my previous video. Create a project according to your project name. Then choose a geodetic datum that suits your project. This is just an example of datum selection for a project. You can adjust your own datum according to your project. The next step is to create a survey database template. This database will be used to run surveys with the settings applied to the database. We can import AutoCAD files to create the vessel's shape so we don't need to draw it manually. Right-click on the object and select New Object. In the Object Definition menu, select the object type which is Vessel. Type the name of the vessel and enter the height above the draft where positive values are above the draft and vice versa. On the Object Shape menu, select Cancel to avoid auto-generating vessel's shape. We can import AutoCAD files by pressing the Import button and selecting DXF file. For example, I have a vessel drawing in AutoCAD file format. Make sure this drawing has the correct scale or is drawn according to actual size. You must know the position of the center of gravity of the vessel itself. We will call the position of the center of gravity C, O, G. The position of the center of gravity should be located at coordinates 0.0. To help move the position of the center of gravity, draw a line with the polyline or line command. Then type coordinates 0, 0. Choose all vessel shapes. Then move the vessel object with the base point being the center of gravity vessel. Move the center of gravity to coordinates 0, 0. Moving objects can be done with the move command or right click, select move. Save this drawing in DXF format. Return to the menu in Chinzy, select the AutoCAD file that we drew previously to create the vessel's shape. Choose the appropriate AutoCAD file name. Select the appropriate layer to create the vessel's shape. Make sure you choose the correct layer to avoid errors in drawing the vessel's shape. If your drawing does not have units, a message will appear indicating a unit mismatch. If you are confident with your drawing, you can ignore this message. Once again, make sure your drawing has been drawn at actual size. The next step is to identify the positions of the system that will be used on the vessel. As an example, I will describe the system positions through the previous AutoCAD drawing. These positions represent the actual offset in the vessel. We can get the offset position by typing the ID command in AutoCAD and we will get the offset coordinates on the ship. For example, I will create system positions such as a GPS system, single beam echo sounder system, multi-beam system, USBL system, as well as several towing positions on vessels. This towing position is the position of towing systems such as side scan sonar, sub-bottom profiler, and gun array. 
Write down the coordinates obtained from the drawing in notepad. We will use these positions as offset positions on the chinzi. Go back to the database menu in Chinzi. Right click on the variable node and select new node. Create as many nodes as the system we will create before. Give an appropriate name to each node. Enter the appropriate offset value. Position these systems in appropriate locations. These locations are the positions of the nodes that we created previously. Add all the systems you want. Make sure you understand the concept of positioning this system with the correct offset. The next use of AutoCAD files is to create survey paths. Click Line Planning, the Survey Manager window will appear. We can import AutoCAD files to create survey paths. Create a new session in Survey Manager. Type a name that suits your project. Then, the Survey Manager window will appear. In the Line Data section, select the line with the name you saved previously. For example, I have a survey track in an AutoCAD file. I will import this file so we don't need to draw manually in Survey Manager. 
Select line data, then go to the edit menu. Select import, select the AutoCAD DXF menu. Choose the correct DXF file. If your drawing does not have the correct units, a warning message will appear regarding the unit mismatch. You can ignore this message if you are sure that your drawing has been drawn correctly. The next step is to select the correct layers. Make sure you only select the layer you want to use. The results of this import file do not yet have names for each survey track. You can edit the path names according to your respective project. The next use for AutoCAD files is for the background on the navigation display. We will try online with the settings we made previously. On the navigation display, click the View Properties menu. Select the background of the AutoCAD file earlier. We can also add database lines from those created in the previous Survey Manager. I think it's enough for Chinzi's tutorial using AutoCAD files. Next, we will discuss system settings and computation in my next video. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Don't forget to click the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel to continue supporting me. See you in my next video.